YouTube, YouTube, what the fuck is going on, man? <sighs> right? What's going on, man? Before I even get started, make sure you like, comment, subscribe on the video, bro. Um, can't talk about life, man, how life has been for me, right? In the in the in the army. If y'all don't know, I am in the military. I've been in now for two years, and I'm coming up on my last year in the army. Um, I just want to talk about some pros and cons of the military, bro. What you can do in the military to you know, go further and how it sets you up for success outside of the military. You know what I'm saying? So, so your life in a civilian world, when you go back, will be totally different. Um, now, I joined in 2022 of October, October 10th to be exact, um, October 10th, 2024, um, as a 92 Foxtrot, which is, <clears throat> which is a fueler, right? So, um, hold up, y'all, hold up. I don't know what's going on, hold on. Hold on, y'all. So, I joined October 10th, 2022 as a fueler. And they sent me to basic at Fort Jackson. Right? Um, Fort Jackson is in South Carolina. Um, and to be honest with y'all, basic was, basic was cool, bro. Like, I'm not even gonna lie to y'all, bro. Basic was basic. Uh, it's boot camp, basically, bro. Uh, if you in shape, I was in shape, so I'm still in shape, but I was in shape, so it was kind of easy for me. And God blessed me with a little bit of height, so so it was fairly easy for me, bro. Um, I got through basic, and they sent me to to um uh fuck y'all. It's called Fort Greg Adams, but it was Fort Lee, so in Virginia. It's called Fort. It's called Fort. Uh, Fort Greg Adams. Now, they renamed it because of some something dealing with race. I, I can't tell y'all, man. I, I, um, I have to look that one up again. I used to know, but, but yeah, man. So they sent me. Make a long story short, they sent me to Virginia. I ended up going there, and uh, AIT was AIT. You got restrictions on you. I'm a grown ass man getting told what to do by another grown ass man. <laughs> Which, to be honest with y'all, man, it comes across everybody's mind, right? Right, that that as a grown man, that's why they want. That's why the army likes to get people young because they can train you into <clears throat> taking orders and not asking why, um, right? And I'm just being honest right now, but I'm just being honest, um, and I'm gonna be brutally honest as as well, uh, so. Yeah, man, they could they could train you into into being able to take orders, and that's that's just the truth, man. That's just the truth about the army, and which is not a bad thing. It's not bad, bro, because the army isn't bad, bro. I'm, I'm gonna tell y'all that right now. The army is not bad. It's some it's some of the people that make it bad, bro. It's people that make it bad. So the army's not bad. It's some people that make it bad. Right, and um, that's just what it is, man. You got you got certain people, you got certain people that aren't right, right? That aren't right, and they feel like because they have rank, they can talk to you or do whatever they want, and without repercussions. He just slid and fucked me up, chat. But they can talk to you how they want, do what they want without any repercussions to that. Okay. 
And it's sad, bro. It, it honestly is. It's sad that, you know what I'm saying, you have certain leaders that would um that would be that way, right? But it's it's the army has always been like that. Um and I don't think it's going to change anytime soon, right? Anytime soon. I don't think that I don't think that's going to change, bro. The army will forever be like that. Um because <clears throat> It gets to a certain point to where when you get ranked, bro, you can't, you get to a certain rank and you, like, it's really hard to get those ranks out of that type of position because then it gets political, right? All right. But overall, though, you know what I'm saying? You have to, you have to be that change in the army and... And that's what that's what I try to that's what I try to be, bro. I try to just be the be the change, bro. Be a be a good leader, you know what I'm saying? Like be somebody that people can people can confide in when when shit when shit going on. Look out for people, bro, because I know that's what I would want. You know, treat others how you would want to be treated, bro. And that's just it. People be want to be treated good, but then they don't treat other people good. How does that work? You can't, you can't do that, bro. That's a double, that's a double, double ended sword. You know what I'm saying? Like, at least with me. Um, but all in all, to say, man, like, yeah, like, yeah, you got, you got, you got that shit in the army, and 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 it depends on your command on how your life goes. Honestly, bro, it depends on. How your command is. If your command is dope down to earth, then you're going to have a dope down to earth time. If they're not, then you're not. And that's just the way it is, man. Uh, that's the way That's the way of the army. Um, what else? What else? Okay, so how it sets you up after you leave, right? I'm going to tell you how it sets you up after you leave. So when you leave the army... People, people join the army for the benefits, right? Are different reasons, but they have different reasons. But a majority join because of the benefits. And I'm being completely honest with y'all, man. Some join, some join because they really do want to fight for their country. Everybody has, everybody has reasons. They want to be something, you know. Uh, some people join for school. Some people join for, you know what I'm saying? Everybody got their different reasons on why they join. But I'm gonna tell y'all why I join, right? I join the army to basically find myself as a young as a young black African American in in um in society you feel you feel what I'm saying like all my partners is doing different shit that that could potentially get you you know what I'm saying potentially get you locked up bro and I ain't wanna I ain't wanna end up a statistic bro I ain't wanna end up end up end up the same the same way you feel what I'm saying so I chose I chose to go a different route a very different route and and to be honest with you, it's a it's a hard route too, bro. Because you're leaving your family, you sacrificing a lot, you sacrificing your mental health and stuff like that, right? Um, my first duty station, they sent me. It was me and my homeboy, bro. I remember it like yesterday. It was me and my homeboy. Uh, we graduated AIT, and after you graduate AIT, they send you somewhere. So. So that's like basically your school learning on learning how to do your job. AIT is your school learning how to do your job, bro. After you finish school, that's when they send you to work to actually do your job. Um. So the army decided to send me to South Korea, bro. I'm an Alabama nigga. I'm an Alabama nigga, bro. I, like South Korea, what? I'm leaving my partners. I'm leaving everybody, bro. I'm leaving. You know what I'm saying? Like. Like, I'm leaving everybody that I fuck with, for real. All my partners, all my partners is gone, bro. Like they, they all the way across the world, and I'm sending my ass in South South fucking Korea, bro. They they send me over the water, bro. That shit like a 13 hour flight, gang. No cap. That shit like a 13 hour flight. And you and and um, if your ass like if you know you know, bro, you know that that flight is long as hell, bro, and it's uncomfortable too. Like, I got some sleep, but I didn't get, like, much sleep on that flight. 
You know what I'm saying? I didn't get much sleep on that flight, bro. I probably got... I, it's a 13-hour flight. I probably slept like... I probably slept like 7. You know what I'm saying? I ain't sleep the whole 13. All right, like, no, nah, I probably slept like... I probably... Nah, fuck no. I probably slept like... Five hours, bro. Out of the whole, out of the whole thirteen hour flight, you know what I'm saying, chat? Like, shit is crazy, bro. That shit crazy. Um, do I regret my decision on joining the army? Nah, not really, bro. Not really, because I'm gonna tell y'all why, bro. Like I said, everything has its pros and cons in life. The pros about the army is when you get out, bro. You know you gonna, you know you gonna have um some type of job if you do it right. Um, you know you're going to have a paid-for college education for either you or your kid. Uh, and, yeah, man, so 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 you're going to have a lot of shit, but it just depends. I feel like it's depending on the person and what, what they want to do, how you want to be in life, you feel me? It just depending on the person, bro, if you take advantage or not because there's a lot of people that's working mediocre jobs after they get out of the army as well. And that was just that was life for me, bro. Like like when I was in Korea, bro, I was missing my family gang. I was missing my I was missing my like bro, I was missing my regular life, bro. Like my regular life in the States. I was missing all that shit. My bros you know, I was depressed as fuck. Like, bro. Man, chat, when I say I was depressed as fuck, bro. Like, I'm talking about, I'm talking about bottom of the barrel, like, depressed, bro. Bottom of the barrel depressed game. And, like, I could not shake that shit. Because they put you in the barracks, bro. And the barracks is like a room. Like, it's like a room, right? Um, when they put you in the barracks, you you got you got one little space to yourself. So it's not like a house. It's not like you can get up and walk around your crib. You know, it's not like that. It's nothing like that. Um, it's it's a little bit different. And I just felt alone, bro. I felt alone, bro. Like. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all, man. I felt alone a lot of the fucking time, bro. I was down there because it was just like, damn, like, how I, how I go from being in Alabama, enjoying my life, enjoying my family, posting up with my friends, you feel me, like, to just, to just being all the way across the water. If they would have stationed me, if they would have stationed me. Either where I'm at right now, or which I'm not gonna disclose that information. Either where I'm at right now, or or um, you know, just in the states, period, bro. If they would have, if they would have stationed me in the states, period, bro, I would have been, I would have been cooling. But like sending me across the water for my first duty station, that was insane. But it worked out, and I'm gonna tell you why it worked out, right? So I met my wife. I met my wife actually in South Korea, and um. And you know, like just like with just like with everybody, bro. Like with everybody, bro. When, once you find your person, you find your person and shit like that. We vibe and shit like that, and 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 we hit it off. We hit it off, bro. We hit it off pretty fast. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't say <clears throat> I wouldn't say I was in a depressed I was in a depressed phase when I got married, but before I was though, gang. And and I'm not even gonna lie, bro. Because I was just in a different fucking... Bro, y'all y'all don't understand, bro. I'm telling y'all, bro. But for all my veterans and shit, shit like that, that been in, they they know what I'm, they know what I mean by by that, bro. They know what I mean. They know exactly what I mean by that. Um, by that depression kicking in and shit, man. When you when you uh deploy or not when you deploy, but when you overseas deploy anything, right? They know about that depression, bro. That it brings, bro. And cause, cause like, I don't know if y'all family oriented, but like, I love my family, man. Like, I love being around my family. Uh, I love my people, bro. 
And that's just how I am. That I, I'm, a, I'm a loving dude, bro. I like the, I like the vibe. Have a good time. I don't like negative shit. I, I, I try to stay away from like, I try to stay away from negative shit, man. Cause, cause that shit will deflect on you, bro. Trust me. When, when, when people bring a negative, negative shit, negative energy to you, bro, that shit will deflect on you. So I just, I just push that shit to the side, gang. I ignore that shit. Uh. Cause all we want in life, bro, all all we want, bro, all motherfuckers want is a peace of mind, gang. <clears throat> peace of mind, have fun, and just go crazy, rock out, bro, rock out, rock out for your bros, you know what I'm saying? Rock out for your family, put your family in a good position, you know what I'm saying? Like everybody want that, bro. Everybody wants that. Nobody should want to be mad, sad, or you know what I'm saying? All the fucking time, no, bro. Nobody wants that shit, bro. Nobody, and I honestly, bro, I don't. I'm not that type of person to be around that shit, bro. That's why if you doing something negative, bro, and you my partner and shit, I distance myself, bro. I distance myself from that shit, cause that's not what I want. That's not where I want to be. I don't want to be around negative shit. That we, we like, I got a different path in the, in life, bro. Like, I got a different path in life, bro. Uh, and that's basically like, that's basically what it is, Chad. Like. I feel like God, God bless me, and God bless me with this with this gift to basically entertain people, have fun, turn up, and just go crazy, bro. And I'm not finna, I'm not finna be around nobody that don't want to do the same, bro. Don't want to do the same. Don't want to just be happy, bro. Life too fuck. Life is is it, it, too short, so I, I I get away from friends. I got away from all that negative shit, bro. Negative energy, bro. And then, like, then, like, on top of that, bro, chat, like, I'm a firm believer in God. So, it's just, like, it's just, like, uh, you know what I'm saying? God want, God wants you to be happy. He don't want you, he don't want you, like, God don't want nobody down bad, sad all the time, or, like, mad all the time. That's only the devil that be wanting that shit, man. So, I, I, I stay far away from that shit, gang. I ain't gonna lie to y'all, but... That was just for, that was just my story, bro. That was just my story how I got in the army and stuff like that, bro. I wanted to get away. I wanted to get away from my surroundings. Get away from all the negative shit, bro. Change change my life around. Do good. Do good for my my, my moms, bro. Like do good for for you know what I'm saying? For everybody, bro. And now I'm doing it, bro. And nobody going to take that away. Nobody going to take that away from me, bro. I got God on my side. You feel me like and it's just, we gonna rock out and go crazy. We gonna rock out and go crazy, bro. Cause that's the only thing, that's the only thing that's gonna, that's gonna matter at the end, bro. At the end of the day, I got people trying to strike my channel down, gang. It's just, it's crazy. They trying to, they trying to give me copyright strikes and I'm reacting. I'm reacting to videos, just trying to go crazy. Like, it's, it's crazy that they would do that too, yo, Chad. It, it's so crazy, bro. Um... That they would do that shit to me, bro. I only got one year left in the army, though, y'all. Back to this army shit. I know I, I know I was chatting a little bit, but back to the army shit, though, chat. Like, I only got one more year to do, y'all. One more year, and then I'm out of the army. Or I can get out of the army. I can make that decision to get out of the army. And that's whether that's whether if, if you know, I just I pop off with this. Y'all, y'all go crazy for me. Y'all go crazy with me, and I know I will, bro. Cause I got, like I told y'all, man, I'm a firm believer in God, bro, and I feel like I am next up. You know what I'm saying? I'm a firm believer in God, bro, and I'm a firm believer in chasing your dreams, gang. Like I'm a firm believer in that, and nobody gonna stop that, gang. Like you can't stop with God. You first of all, bro. Let me tell y'all something, bro. When somebody is following God, bro, that's a strong person. That's a strong person, bro. You can't steal their joy. You can't steal nothing from them. I'm telling you. You can't steal. You can't steal their joy. You can't steal. You can't steal nothing from them, bro. All that negative. All that negative stuff. That shit go out the window, bro. That shit go out the window. That's why, I, that's why I, I tell y'all, bro, I'm not even gonna lie. I'm not trying to push, I'm not trying to push my, you know what I'm saying, my faith on nobody. 
I would, I would never do that, bro. I would never push none on y'all, but I will say this, bro. We'll say this, man. I will say this, bro. God amazing, bro. God amazing, bro. He will work miracles out for you. You know what I'm saying? When you down bad, when you sad, when you win that hole and you think you ain't going to get out, bro, keep grinding, bro. Keep grinding, but keep your faith, bro. Because I feel like if you grinding and you don't got no faith, bro, you not going to make it, bro. I'm telling you, bro. If you don't got no faith, because look, if you, you don't got no faith in God, you don't got no faith in yourself. You don't got no faith in what you doing, bro. You don't got no faith in what you doing, bro. So, like, I just walk with God, bro. I'm going to just walk. I, I just walk with him. Whatever he want me to do, whatever he feel like, whatever he feel like I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do, then that's just on him. He, he bring it to my heart. He bring it to my attention to that I need to record videos, make them, upload them for y'all. So that's what I do. You know what I'm saying? Even with all of the army stuff going on, bro. The army trying to do this. The army trying to do that, bro. Nah, bro. Nah, y'all like they can't. They can't stop what what, what he is giving me. And what he doing for me? They can't stop that. Cause he's a he's a he's a he's such a powerful force. You know what I'm saying? Like. It's, just, it's crazy, bro. It's crazy how this, how this life stuff work, though, bro. It's crazy how it work, bro. Telling you. But it all work out in the end, though. I'm going to tell y'all, bro. It is, it's going to all work out in the end. Just, just I, like I said, I'm not trying to push my religion on y'all, my, like, my faith on y'all. But at the same time, bro, believe in them, bro. When people try to bring you down, it's, it's been it's been a couple of times where I thought I was just gonna go down go downhill, man. But for some reason, for some odd reason, this guy said nah. He said uh uh. He said nah. You ain't going. You ain't going downhill. You ain't going downhill, man. I'm telling y'all, man. I done been through life too, man. Like. But that's for a different. That's for a different video. I'm a, I'm letting y'all know more and more about me. But yeah, man. So that's my professional, man. I'm in the United States military right now. But when this pop off, though, when when this pop off, because I know God got me. I'm I'm probably not gonna be in the military for that long, y'all. Cause y'all gonna be rocking out. I'm gonna be rocking out, and we just gonna be turning up. We're gonna be going places and turning up. So it just it's crazy. But they gonna know me though, bro. They gonna for sure know me, bro. They gonna for sure know me. I'm a grinder, chat. That's what God. That's another thing, man. Like, hey, bro. It's just, it's crazy, bro. Like, I, I, I'm telling y'all, like this shit crazy, man. I'm, 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 I'm gonna tell y'all, bro. It, it's it's crazy, bro. I, I'm like, you know, I, I ain't trying to, you know what I'm saying. I ain't trying to be. Chatting too long or yapping too long for y'all, but yeah, man. But that, but that's that's the end of that chat. Uh, I went to I went to Korea, and then after I after I went to Korea, man, they they sent me they sent me somewhere. That's all I'm gonna tell y'all. I'm not gonna tell y'all where I'm at right now, but they sent me somewhere else. And to be honest with you, it's not that bad. Like it's not that bad in all honesty. Where I'm at right now, it ain't that bad. It ain't that bad. And I know that for a fact. I know people I know people have had worse than what I'm in right now. And that's it's that's good. That's good. I just <clears throat> I'm fine with that. I'm satisfied with where I'm at. I'm thankful for I'm thankful for where I'm at too. You know what I'm saying? And that's the most important thing. That's the most important part. Um, what else? What else do I gotta tell y'all? What else do I gotta tell y'all? Uh, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe too, though, y'all. Like, make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe on the video, man. <clears throat> Cause I don't do this. For, I don't do this for me, man. Like, I do this. I do this for y'all, bro. I upload every day for y'all after I get off of long days of hard work, right? So, um, 
So yeah, y'all. Like I promise y'all that. I promise y'all that I never stop going in, no matter what happened in my life, bro. No matter if it's bad, good, whatever, whatever uh, success I have on this, I never let it get in my way of like, of like watching out for y'all though, cause. You know what I'm saying? Everybody, I feel like I feel like another thing too, bro. A lot of creators, they don't really pay they don't really pay much attention to the people that made them, right? To the people that made them who they are. I know you can't pay attention to everybody once you get to a certain point, but at least sometimes sometimes do it, bro. At least, bro. When you can, you know what I'm saying? Give love to the people that people that, you know what I'm saying, helped you out. When you was, you know what I'm saying? When you was coming up. Because without them, you nobody. And without God, you nobody. So it's just like, you got to, you got to, it's a, it's a whole, it's a whole nother job, bro, to that you got to do on top of creating and, um, and maintaining what you already been blessed with, you feel me? And that's just what I believe. That's just what I believe, y'all. Uh. But yeah, man. So they sent me the career after they sent me the career, bro. It was, it, and I'm gonna tell y'all. I'm gonna tell y'all what I was doing in Korea, Korea though, and how it is and how that culture is. So in Korea, it's a little bit different than the states, right? Um, they in the army, you got a lot more restrictions in Korea. You can't really do a whole bunch that you would do in the states. You're not gonna have no car and stuff like that. This for my people that want to join the military and potentially get put or potentially get uh get the duty station of Korea. Um so you're not gonna have a car unless unless you're married and you live off post, if I'm not mistaken. They might change it because the army always changes stuff all the time. Uh but when I was there, I know you couldn't have no car. Um, and that makes it very, very difficult for you as a, uh, as you know what I'm saying, you're a, <clears throat> a foreigner basically out there because you're in somebody else's country. Um, they drink a lot. You will get, hey, y'all, y'all, when you get stationed at Korea, bro, you really got to watch how much you drink because everybody is drinking down there because it's just a drinking party. Party duty station, that's what I say. You drinking and you partying every day, really, really going hard. You gotta watch yourself. You gotta watch yourself on how you how you do it, bro, and how you maintain. What was maintaining me down there uh is when is when I I told y'all that I was depressed, but I eventually had got out of my depressed stage by just always going to the gym. Um I would connect with God sometimes. I think I connect more with God now. Uh, then, then I used to, I connect way more. And I think it's because that, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm married and I, I got a kid on the way. So I don't know. I guess God just, I don't know, man. I don't know what happened, but he, he working with me though. Like he's, he's working through me, working with me. Uh, so, so yeah, Chad. Yeah, yeah, YouTube. That's where I'm at with it in life, though, bro. Like, I got out of my depressed stage from going to the gym, connecting with God when I could, and also spending time with, with my... I was spending time, a lot more time with my wife. Now, I don't spend a lot more... I don't spend as much time as I want with my wife because I'm here. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm always, I'm always in front of this camera, and I'm always trying to give y'all content. So, that's why I tell y'all, I want y'all to like, comment, and subscribe to my video. You know what I'm saying? Because I got a lot of responsibilities. And I know y'all do too. But it's just a lot of stuff that I got going on right now. And I'm trying to get to that to that, to that, that next level, bro. Because I know I can perform at that next level, right? Um, and yeah, man. It's just that. It's just that really, really, bro. Like, like you get you get stationed out there. You really want to... Um, you really want to work out... Party, party, keep your party into a minimum, keep your drinking to a minimum, and do what you can. Do what you can, man. Please.
do what you can. Uh, do whatever you can um, to to keep your mind. Don't have an idle mind. I think that was uh, causing my depression as well. I didn't have nothing like this. I didn't have my setup. YouTube. If I had my setup, I probably would have doing. I probably would have been doing more uh, uploading and being proactive, trying to grow a business or something like that. But I didn't have that, right? I didn't have that. I didn't have that luxury of actually doing something productive with my with my time. So I was. So I was depressed, you know. So it comes with time, bro. Y'all, y'all will figure it out in time. If you join the army, bro, just be ready for what I for what I'm telling y'all, and be ready for a lot of shit, a lot of sacrifices that you don't, you probably don't want to do. Um, and that's just it, man. I, whoever watched to the end, bro, I appreciate y'all. I know this is a 30 minute video. I done played a lot of Call of Duty. I lost. I lost like one game, one two. Uh, I'm not the best Call of Duty player. I'm not playing, claiming to be, but I do what I can, man. I just want to put y'all on game about the army and how. And my, this is my experience. So, am I? I'm not saying that you're gonna have the same experience as me. You might come in here, and I'm not gonna lie to y'all. That's another thing. You're gambling, so you might come in here. And the way you are is not like me. And you might have a bad time. You might have a bad time. This is not for everybody. This is not for everybody. Right? Right? This is not for everybody, bro. The army is definitely not for everybody. So I would say um, if you are a person that wants to join, really do research. Don't don't think that I'm the all end all be all when it comes to research because I had different experience and it's a lot of stuff that I don't know. But <laughs> I tell y'all everything that I would think would be important on y'all journey, if you get what I'm saying. So, uh, like I said again, the army is not bad. I feel like it's not for everybody though. Join if you wanna find yourself. Join if you don't, if you're unsure what you wanna be and what you wanna do in life, it will help you, right? So, that's what I'm gonna say. It's not gonna be easy. You're gonna have a lot of sacrifices, a lot of time away from family. But at the end of the road, it's always like God will never forsake you. And I mean that, y'all. Y'all got to believe. Don't believe in. Don't believe what I say. Y'all got to find y'all faith. I got faith. God ain't going to leave you. And I think, you know what? That's another topic for another video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, y'all. I love y'all. Uh. To the to uh to the ones that striking down my channel, y'all know who y'all are. Y'all took the y'all removed the strike and y'all put the strike back on there. That's not gonna stop me from growing and that's not gonna stop me from blowing. So hey, if you fuck with me, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. I love y'all. I'm only me. I'm not I'm not the perfect streamer, the perfect YouTuber. I'm not gonna act like I am. I am none of that. None of that. I am not perfect at all. I'm far from it. But I love y'all though. You know, I love y'all though. And we're going to continue to rock out and just know, find your fate. That's all I'm going to say. I'm done yapping. My yap session is over. If you stay to the end, you are a real one. If you stay to the end, you are a real one, bro. If you skipped, it's cool, whatever. Just make sure you like, comment, subscribe on the video. That's all I ask. Like, comment, and subscribe. Like, comment, and subscribe. And we gone, we gone, we out, we out, we out.